well, Thanksgiving is a few days away. I can't believe it's almost here. And we're sharing a recipe with a New Orleans twist. Yes, indeed. You know, some of the leftovers, and you can make some really, really good stuff. How about some uh, good old gumbo? And Chef Gay Sandoz from Tony Sachery is here to show us how to make mm -hmm. this uh, yes. great well, little... Yes, you're going to make it, And right? a great shortcut as Ooh. well, right? This gumbo, and I've been making gumbo since I was like one year old. Yeah. Because I'm from South Louisiana. <laughs> All right. like, I don't even remember you, when. You're, you're I come out of the womb with like cooking utensils, right? <laughs> so, no, it's really serious. So I know how to make gumbo. This is an easy recipe that you can do in 30 minutes. Okay. But that's even better, and it tastes just like homemade. So we've got a pot with some I mean, uh, some butter in here. Okay. Right? Yeah, a okay. stick of butter. We yeah, got stick of butter. Pre-cut vegetables. You can buy them in your produce section at the grocery store. So it makes it very easy to cook. So we got onion. We got that's some bell pepper. Bell pepper. I add bell and pepper because the pre-cut doesn't have enough of it. Okay, because you like the bell pepper I extra. Love it. It's savory. It kind of gives a sweet flavor. So okay. Put a little extra bell pepper. Garlic. In there. And again, okay. once again, all this pre-cut, pre-diced stuff. Done. Yeah. It's it was just, done. Just, I promise, no one will know. And then, um, then you're going to pour in your kitchen stock. You're going to okay. let it saute for a little bit. For okay, so obviously that would get a little bit uh, softened up a little bit yeah. or so. All of it. And then yeah. some chicken stock. And we're going to put in about uh, 8 to 10 cups of chicken stock already prepared. So unless you want to prepare your own. Yeah. It's up to you. You can all right. ball those carcasses after Christmas, but who does that? <laughs> <laughs> Just throw them away and you get know, you Unless stuff. you're doing the, the homemade chicken and noodles or chicken and dumplings. Right. And, Just and as a the, chef, I'll do it at home in front of people. Just take but, the box up. So this would boil around a little bit, and then yep. we've got some good old andouille sausage. Yes, andouille sausage. And once again, you want to brown this up a little bit. Before. You yeah. can do it raw, or not brown raw, but I mean without being brown. But the but most important thing, before you put that oh, in, whoops. we're going to put the pre-made roux in. You can order this online, and I think some of your grocery stores here in San Antonio have this. So it's, um, it's a pre-made roux, and I'm going to let you put some of that in there. Okay, You're gonna about start, how much? It's, you put about six tablespoons. Okay. It's a this little is, hard to I get mean, out of the jar, but go ahead and this put is some, some in there. I know, look. Yeah, look at that stuff. That's a real deal, can I tell you? The real deal. So you now, can... would a true, well, you being a true mm -hmm. Cajun, is I this I... is this cheating? Can you frown upon that? It's not cheating. It's not? Because I can make a roux, too. I mean, you can okay. make a roux in 20 minutes. You can go online, can... Google it if you don't know how. But, um, hey, why not order this and have it in your yeah, that, pantry? That's the real stuff. I mean, this stuff is, it's got the consistency of chocolate, almost. Yes, just like a regular roux. And you okay. can just, that's enough. Oh, whoops. It's about okay. six tablespoons. Um, I'll take that, and you can stir that in. All righty. And you'll let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to add your meat. There we go. And okay, put there the you go. That's, in there, so. that's pre-cooked sausage. Just slice it up in about fourth, one-fourth inch. And again, browning it a little bit just gets that extra little yeah. note of flavor going in there. That's whatever you browning. better in the gumbo. It does. It does. You know, and then okay. Fiona's cutting oh, yeah. up some pre-cooked chicken, or you can use turkey. I use turkey in this one. We're going to use... A rotisserie chicken in this one. So, so the Tony Sachery, it's a it. whole line of herbs, spices, sauces, yeah, everything, right? Yeah, I want you right? to put some of that Tony Sachery in this gumbo. You're going to okay. put about, here, here you go, two tablespoons. All right, and and this is the, oh, Bowl Creole seasoning. Creole seasoning, okay. So and you about, can see about two they tablespoons. Have they have like three or four flavors. Yeah, that's yeah, enough. That's, that's enough. That's good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it with a kick. Pair of heels. Okay, steel and then boots. I always Close add enough. a little black pepper in mine. <laughs> steel toe boots. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just add a little kick. bit of black pepper. It just gives it <laughs> a different layer. A little black pepper. If you're going to kick kick it up, add some hot sauce to this baby. But nah, this is pretty good. Yeah, a lot of Creole seasoning in there. So and right. Then, um, we have some green onion tops to put on this finished product. Okay. There they are, over there. And you have a free recipe book, right? Yeah, Fiona, and you put the chicken in, don't forget about that. Okay. The free, <laughs> the free cookbook is, um, you can, everyone gets one, just call the 1-888-CREOLE number on the screen, and everyone can have a free cookbook. And this thing has everything from banana bread all the way to gumbo. To, really? Uh, yes. Appetizer and all of these, uh, the seasonings and, and sauces and everything can be found at the grocery store? Yes. Okay. And, um, of course, your injectable marinades for Thanksgiving. Don't forget about these. Okay. Um, to inject your turkeys or pork loins. And then we have also dip, these kind of marinades, these 30-minute marinades. So mm -hmm. All of them are great. Okay. All of them. I see you have a bowl of rice over there. Yes. Ah, there you go. There's oh, one. oh, it's Here already we go. made up. Okay. Here we go. There's one for you. Do. Do. that up. up. Uh, there we go. Throw that in there. 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 Oh, that looks good. A little good. more? Oh, yeah. All right, for this recipe and more, remember, just head to our website, salive.com, and Ooh, click a bit. on the As Seen <laughs> on SA Live tab. <laughs>
good. That's what scripts. That's what scripts are for. That's what scripts are for. Yeah, like our napkins. Yes, yeah. indeed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It All is right. good. Have a taste. It Have is. Taste. Thank you, Gabe. Appreciate that. It is a new spot in town making gourmet popcorn from scratch. And David Elder takes us inside Popcorn Piccadilly. I love the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where you There's can take a sip back in time. And some very unique flavors. Take a look. with SA Live. I'm out here in Selma, Texas, across the way from the Forum at a little place called Popcorn Piccadilly, where they're making some creative new popcorn flavors and fudge fresh in-house just in time for the holidays. Popcorn Piccadilly is a deliciously sweet travel through time. Artisan popcorn, nostalgic sodas, old-fashioned candy, and homemade fudge are all offered at this Selma, Texas shop. We want to do special events, something for teachers, just pretty much any occasion that you can think of, we have a, pop, a popcorn suitable for that occasion. And the best part, there are over 170 freshly popped popcorn flavors to choose from. However you want it, we will make it happen that way. We want to give people a variety. We want to give people quality. Uh, it's important that they get a quality product. Popcorn Piccadilly has been open for less than four weeks, and owners Tammy Marsh and her husband Theo Marsh, an active member of the Air Force, are thrilled with the response from customers. The counters are low because most of the children that love the candy are short, and so they are ranged from a five-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a ten-year-old in height. Their homemade fudge and artisan popcorn is delicious. That is amazing. And you can test every flavor of popcorn you want. So now we're trying some of the popcorn out here. This is loaded baked potato. You can see it. Oh, man. That was good. And if you're looking for something unique this holiday season, they've got you covered. Come in and look at a soda, and they go, wow, I've never seen it before. And they look at the name, and they want to go, I want, what, and what, I want to know what that tastes like. All of the tasty items in the shop make great gifts, and the store is a fun way to spend time with family and loved ones. Well, Theo, thank you so much for having me out here, breaking up popcorn, everything. You guys have a great shop here, lots of soda, lots of different candies, and for everyone. So you guys got to come out here, Selma, Texas, Popcorn Piccadilly, right outside the form. Get your holiday gifts out here. This is cool. For SA Live, it's still got a good crunch to it. I'm David Elder. You know, it's funny they were talking about how everything's at kid eye level. Yeah. There are no dummies out there. Let's get yeah, right there. Eye level for the. For the <laughs> They'll make it work. Uh, yes, indeed. So, and, and looking for something to do Thanksgiving? They're open. They are open out there. So, so go check it out. It's almost like the jelly belly of, of uh, popcorn with all those different flavors in there. Yeah. That looked really good. So. Well, you don't know what you get yeah. <laughs> until you taste it. <laughs> it's a little competition, you know? It's like, okay, taste this popcorn here. <laughs> kind of like what we did try to do with the anchors. So, all right. All right. It is a Mad Science Monday, and it's all about movement and motion. We're talking procession. Procession. Experiments you can do with the kids over Thanksgiving break. And Mondays aren't complete with without a mom day. We're gonna show you some last minute kid friendly Thanksgiving crafts that you can do with the kids. So stay with us. That's why we leave the science up to the experts like Andrea Cook, so you don't get hurt. Are you okay? You don't want long nails trying to do that. Okay, I'm okay. Is this I'm... the first time somebody's been hurt with little jars? As far as I know, yes, but I'm first aid certified, CPR certified, so. Okay. Oh my, I can't watch. I can't do it. So, are you having trouble you gotta have with a lot this? of force, get it going. Oh, so, there, we go. there you go. There you go. Is a gyro. Gyroscope, yep. Gyroscope, and the principle behind it is called. Well, we've got procession. Procession. Mm -hmm. I, and mm -hmm. For those thought, who don't know what that is, <laughs> it's like explain. When you're riding a bicycle and you have that little wobble, the bicycle wheel wobbles, uh -huh. that's that's the wobble. Oh. So you've got like um, a pull to right angle in the rotation's direction. So anything that's going to go up on its edge, so like a top or a gyroscope or bicycle wheel, that's procession at work. Okay. And then it, the faster, because you're more stable the faster you go on a bicycle, Correct. so that force on either side becomes stronger, I would assume. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's actually hard to fall over. See? Right. Is that right? Yeah, we're going right. on the road together. Right, right. Yes. Use my training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yes, so while is. he gets the gyro going, a okay. lot of kids like this, um, they may not know the word gyroscope, but Beyblades, they all play with Beyblades, same principle. Oh, you yeah. Pull and string it going. So we're going to take it down just a little bit, okay. and we're going to use, this is called the Vortex, and you're going to put a coin on either side, 
flat. It's going to be like a little slide. And what's going to happen? There you go. You've got gravity pulling it down, obviously. And then you have centripetal force pulling it toward the center. Okay? Oh, nice. You got it going there. Okay, um, this is, I could do this all day. <laughs> this and is great. you've got procession bringing the coin up on its edge. It's okay. Um, I love these things. You see them in a lot of museums, a lot of stores. It's a great way to get a donation. You can get me this for Christmas. All right. Your little I get, I get. bank. <laughs> now, the nickels are going to go down slower because What's they have up? more inertia. Yeah. And the nurses want to go in a straight line, but you've got that centripetal force overcoming it and bringing it toward the middle. Because the mass is greater, so greater inertia. Exactly. Okay. okay. Now, a fun way that you can talk about procession at home, um, if you don't mind having balloons, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, so we're using clear balloons so you can see there's a penny inside. Yes. You want it to be inflated to a manageable um, size, and you got to get it going. Ooh, there you go. And you have procession. And this is and like you got your penny going. This is like the guy on the motorcycle at the circus. Right. Yes, the that's cage. what I was saying too. Yeah, totally. And then you throw them. Yeah, you can throw them up in the air once you get it going. <laughs> throw, throw, throw. Okay, ready, John? Wait, let me okay. get this going. Ooh, nice. There goes mine. Oh shoot, didn't Toast. work. All right, mine was going. Okay, there we go. Now this is fun, and it's definitely an at-home thing. What I like to do at Mad Science is I like to have people spin. Ooh, okay, we have lots of spinning science, so okay. we're going to spin him. Is that cool? Yeah, it's totally fine. All right, so I have a rotating platform. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. We're going to put your body on the platform, sir. Okay. He's going to hold a bicycle wheel, and as I said, that's a good example of procession. Fiona's there to capture him I'm if he falls. I'm ready to catch anything. Are you so ready? This is like a big gyro. This big thing. gyro. See how strong I am? Okay, okay let's, now let's see what happens it. down below. Okay. And tilt the oh, opposite way. Look at what's way. happening. And it's going to turn him. But he can feel that force. I think it feels pretty, yeah. it's pretty crazy. It's like riding a bike with your arms, right? Yeah. And when you put a smaller scientist on there, a child perhaps, they, squid, they spin pretty fast. But you want to try, Fiona? You want to try? Okay. Yeah. I, would I would take, yeah. oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, she'll be fine in the heels. Fine. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, he's going to save you if you fall. Okay, you yeah. ready? Tilt. Woo! And then tilt the other way. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, on that note, I we're going to afraid by a popping balloon. Oh, so right? You yeah. bring out the best in me, don't you? <laughs> yes. All right. For more information on Mad Science, just head to salive.com where it's safer and click on the SA Live tab. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Coming up, don't ignore the snore. How a good night's rest is affecting everything from your energy levels to the way you age. Plus, make your holiday outfit comfy or stylish with last-minute Thanksgiving looks. Details a little later on in the show. Ah, uh, a good night's sleep. It is something I think people would sometimes pay a fortune for. <laughs> and a lot of times we can't get a good night's sleep, but that does a whole lot more than maybe put you in a grumpy mood the next day. It can affect your, basically, your, your entire body. And here to talk more about it is Malik Hirohit from Chief, uh, he's the Chief Medical Officer from University Health System. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. So sleeping is not just, a, a bad night's sleep, I should say, or not getting enough sleep, is not just waking up the next day going, and you're yawning and you're tired and you're not focused. There's a lot that goes on with that, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's many things that can go on in terms of brain health, in terms of physical health. Uh, it can affect weight gain, your ability to think and concentrate, uh, your uh, reaction time. Uh, there's a whole host of things that can be affected. Usually we think when you're sleeping that your brain is sleeping. It's not. It, it's housekeeping, right? Yeah, no, that's a great question. And so it's uh, sleeping for us, but really there's a lot of work going on. And sort of like at, you know, at night when you put the kids away and you still go do your housework and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So brain, the brain is cleaning up. Um, there's a lot of debris that it has to clean up. Something called tau protein, which is related to... CTE that we hear in the, you know, in, the, in the sports world and that kind of stuff. So some of those things are cleaned up during that nighttime. The brain also re-energizes itself with something called ATP, which is a, a brain energy currency. And that can be used to help the brain last the next day. So some of those things can help us uh, be really tired or... So explain what we're seeing here. Two different uh, yeah. pictures of a brain, and pop back up there, sleep-deprived brain and one that has mm -hmm. a lot of sleep. So yeah. What's the difference? That's a great question. So on the left, we have people who have slept well in the sleep control. And what we're seeing lighting up is something called amygdala, which is sort of the fear and anxiety center in the brain. On the right side, we're seeing people who haven't had good sleep, and it's lighting up a lot. And the way we, in one example, analogy we can think about is sort of like a guard dog. A guard dog can respond to any sort of stimulus in the environment and sort of go wild. But 
if you have a leash or some protective, in this case, the higher cortical functions in the brain, the higher functions in the brain, can tame that down and say, hey, this is the way to react, this is not the way to react, and can keep us in check. In sleep control, meaning that people have proper sleep, uh, they are able to maintain that proper control. The people who don't have sleep are sleep deprived, that area goes, uh, you know, goes uh, pretty wild, and so they have a lot of fear, anxiety, a psychiatric disease potentially down the line. So does that explain why somebody, if they don't get enough sleep, can be grumpy? It, absolutely. It's grumpy, kind of those, those anxious. basic. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very... You get back it, to your caveman days, I guess. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So that picture shows exactly how the brain responds when we get proper sleep, and that can lead to grumpiness. It can lead to anxiety the next day, you know, anger. And weight loss, too, or, or weight gain, because yeah. you need the sleep to lose weight, right? Absolutely. And so a couple of things happen during uh, deep sleep. One is the secretion of growth hormone and thyroid hormone. And they help maintain your metabolism, which is important for weight, uh, weight management. Mm -hmm. um, and also the other thing is if you don't sleep, you're probably eating at night. So that's the other thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a whole different topic on there. But, so, but it's uh, in terms of um, having the hormones there that can replenish the body, regenerate you for the next day. And then particularly that metabolism piece mm -hmm. uh, with deep sleep, your metabolism maintains a much better energy for itself. And so that you can keep some of the weight off. And that's really important as we age. Uh, and keeping that weight off through the metabolism. Now, getting good in the REM sleep and the dream sleep and everything, if you can't do it naturally, what about taking you know, something to help you sleep? Is that the, does that give yeah. you a good quality sleep? Yeah, so uh, those medications are needed for, for many patients, and so that's you know, best discussed with your doctor if you need the medication or not. But there, there's a trade-off in taking medication, some of the side effects. And so some of the common ones like Ambien, for example, mm -hmm. uh, they, or Lunesta, they can certainly help you get to sleep, but the problem is that they can also reduce the quality of that sleep, you know, reduce the deep sleep, reduce the uh, REM sleep or the dream sleep. And those are important parts of sleep for the brain. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, the medication needed, talk to your doctor, but just understand that there is, there is a trade-off for that. And your doctor can also refer you to some of the sleep programs that you have there at University Health System. to get Absolutely, a, get a yeah. We sleep, have a fantastic so. okay. sleep center and sleep doctors there. And, you know, talk to your uh, PCP, and if, if they feel you need a further evaluation, we can certainly set you up over there. Okay, big thanks to University Health System. And uh, if you'd like more information about that, and it's don't ignore the snore, 210-358-4000, or visit them online, universityhealthsystem.com. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. It. Thank you for having me on. All right, coming up. From a comfy dinner to a fancy party, we have got you covered with three Thanksgiving looks on a budget. Stay tuned. approaching and along with all the food you want to be comfortable in what you're wearing and stylish too depending on where you're spending your thanksgiving so veronica cavazos director of marketing here at ingram park mall has some great ideas to cover all the bases for you on turkey day i do you know it is a struggle for everybody when something is coming up an event is coming up you're always looking for what do i wear what do i wear <laughs> and it's a struggle between should i be comfortable or should I look fashionable? Mm -hmm. Well, we have all those looks. This first look for us is um, from Lane Bryant. Um, this is a cozy look. It's kind of a Friendsgiving kind of look. Um, the sweater is breathable, for, perfect for South Texas weather. Um, at the same time, it's comfortable. It's kind of got the bell sleeves, um, and it's got a beautiful keyhole at the chest line. That way it elongates your body. Mm -hmm. um, she's paired it beautifully with silver jewelry and long chandelier earrings. Um, we have the stretchy jeans that are very forgiving. They're hugging to your curves. So we can overeat a little bit on Thanksgiving like we all do. I love it when your jeans cooperate with you on they, Thanksgiving. And these do. <laughs> these have an innovative technology that give back. So if you overeat a little bit, they will put go back into place. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> we have a beautiful look here from Agassi. Um, and she's this beautiful maroon color is a fall hue that's coming back. Um, and she's paired this beautiful blouse. Again, the bell sleeves with a high neckline and a stacked chandelier necklace, which complements her camel boots perfectly, um, her little booties, and skinny jeans. You know, they, it's just a very comfortable look where it's kind of stepped up, but um, still 
comfortable at the same time. And I love the wine color, as you mentioned. I've been seeing that a lot everywhere for fall. And ruffles are back, ruffles you know, and back. you see it at the bottom of that shirt and at the bottom of the sleeves. And I'm loving that stretchy waistline, especially for Thanksgiving. That's right. <laughs> it's perfect. What's great about this dress is it's not only got the bell sleeves and the metallic, which is also coming back in for fall, it's got the high neckline, so you could wear your hair up, you could wear your hair down the way she is. Um, you don't need a lot of jewelry. She's got the uh, bell earrings on, which are beautifully paired with this dress. Um, and then you can wear it with high boots like she is wearing. Or if your boss is a little bit more conservative and you want to impress him a little bit, you can pair it with black hose and black heels. So it's another great look. So if you want to find this beautiful metallic dress here at Ingram Park Mall, you can pick this up for $155 at Dillard's. The beautiful wine blouse is um, $28 at Agassi. And the gray boots, those are $89 at Lane Bryant. All right, for more information on these looks and on Ingram Park Mall, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, last minute crafting ideas to keep the kids busy at the Thanksgiving dinner table or while you're preparing it. And a side dish with a twist. We're showing you an applewood green bean recipe. Tony Sacheries has got you covered. Where? Mom Day. Yes, we have Adina Anderson here today, and we are making some Turkey Day crafts. Right, Adina? This is one of them. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah, she's doing it. She's going to do the gobble, gobble, and we match today. I love yes, the velvet that you got going yes. on. Yes, velvet is very trendy. So this is... <laughs> Perfect if you're hosting Thanksgiving and yes. you want to have that right on your door as everybody shows up. I really love well, it. Well, you know, the kids are out of school, or a lot of them are, mm -hmm. and so you need to keep them busy this week. So give them this to do because it will hours of fun, hours and yes. hours, and it's really, really easy to do. I'm going to put a little turkey down here real quick. Okay. So all you need, head over to the craft store and get one of these styrofoam rings. This is your most expensive thing right okay. here. But, but you can coupons. have a coupon. Yes. Everybody has coupons. And you don't have to paint this, but you do want to paint the little turkey's head. So I've got a tip for styrofoam foam painting because it's really hard to get it without getting it on your fingers mm -hmm. right so you're gonna glue it anyways oh. put it on either a paintbrush or something just poke a hole in there and I just use the Americana it's just the regular acrylic paint and I use brown but for styrofoam you want to sponge brush it on oh okay. it makes it a lot easier let it because it soaks it in right yeah just... and have them do this first because it takes a while to dry and we're gonna go on to this part so that's a great so this is okay. just tool and lots of fun <laughs> You're going to cut strips about three inches thick. So you got orange, got orange brown. and yellow. And let them have fun with the colors. You know, let them make their turkey whatever color they want. But if you want to use it for a door hanging, and then I had you double it up, and you're just going to tie knots and pull it really, really, really tight. Really, tight. Because you want it to have that fluff look. So after you put, I don't know, 100 or so. <laughs> That'll keep the kids busy for sure. You'll have the little fluffy look to it. And then you just glue your head on. And for the eyeballs, I, I didn't like the wiggle eyes. So I just grabbed the Looks tiny like a crazy turkey. <laughs> a crazy turkey, yes. <laughs> just grab the little styrofoam ball and then just use the other end of your paintbrush, like so. Oh. And then just kind of place it on there. There you go. Very simple, very simple. easy. And this is just the Americana acrylic paint as well. It goes on great with styrofoam because it doesn't eat away at it. Got it. <laughs> And you get that lovely wreath all under, what, 20 bucks? Oh, definitely under $20, yes. Again, the styrofoam is your most expensive part, so use those coupons. <laughs> the next one, this is my favorite so craft. I love this. It's a pumpkin pie garland, and this is under 5 bucks to make this. It is you, so cute. Yeah, you only need about, I think I used two sheets of each color of the felt. So and you then have your pattern here yeah, or your Cut a pattern, here. and you can freehand it if you want. I cut a pattern. It makes it easier. And then just go ahead and hot glue. I'm going to do your hot glue. I'm going to okay. reach over you here. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, don't burn your finger. So you're going to glue the little spot down, and then you just put another little dot. You don't need a lot. Okay. And then you're going to fold it fold like that. Fold the crest. And then we'll kind of, for TV time, we'll go ahead yes. and do just a few of them. Put another little piece there. Okay. So and then, careful, because that's a lot there. You're going to burn your finger. <laughs> <laughs> she warned me, and I probably use will my band-aid tip. I forgot to bring well, band-aids today, but put band-aids on your fingers before you do the craft, so that way you won't burn your fingers. And then, and we'll you're add... going to go all the way across. And look, here's your whipped cream for your pumpkin pie, right? <laughs> See, I have glue on my finger now. 
There we go. <laughs> a little whipped cream. And it cream. just sticks on, and you do about 10 of them, so or however cute. long you want it to be on the fireplace or the table. It's just something fun. You could even do individual ones and use them for place settings for the table. Oh, and speaking that's of a place good idea. settings, yeah. so my grandma always gave us candy before dinner. Or after. I mean, it was just it was just kind of sitting That's there for the us. Uh -huh. And so we have candy corn and we have some caramel chocolates. And this is just a ball jar. Oh, it's so tiny. I love <laughs> this. This is like the Mason cutest jars. jar. And these are just some little feathers. Again, I used a pattern. I cut them out. And then we'll go ahead and paint one brown since we have our brown already. And I just used, again, the acrylic paint. And, and I put it on both sides. And once it dries, you have your glue dots here. Your I favorite, Jen, right? how to use blue dots earlier. So let me see if I remember. So you just put it down, and then... And that's it. And that way it doesn't stick to your fingers. It just sticks to what you want it to. Oop, we're put running. Put your feathers all the way around. Low on time now. Put your wiggle eyes and fill but it you, with some candy. Yes. And we'll fill this one. Uh, we have some other ideas here that are all on your blog. Tell yes. me quickly about Oh, my gosh, two. the little cork. This is my favorite little place setting thing. You just take the little pipe cleaners and time around your finger, make them little wiggly. I have plenty of these, by the way. Yeah, we got lots of corks. This is the mom fun. Yes. <laughs> So all of this can be found on Adina's blog, which we posted on salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Lots of great ideas. Thank you. Keep the kids happy busy. Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Turkey Day. Thanks, Adina. Thank you. Coming up on SA Live, smoked apple wood green beans. Need I say more? They look so good. We'll show you this delicious recipe, perfect to add to your Thanksgiving table after you've done all this cute decorating, right? <laughs> Plus, tomorrow on SA Live, the crafting, cooking, and prepping continues. Some of our SA Live team will join volunteers as they prepare for the big Raul Jimenez dinner. I think it's the 38th year now. That and much more all coming up tomorrow on SA Live. That is from earlier. We shared a turkey gumbo recipe, and now we're whipping up a side dish that pairs perfect with your Thanksgiving dinner. Hey, Chef Gay's back from Tony Sachery. <laughs> yes, doing, and we Fiona? are doing an applewood green bean casserole. Yeah, and it's applewood smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of ingredients in here, and you ha you cook this for two hours. So mm -hmm. actually, this cooks longer than the gumbo does. Oh. Isn't that amazing? But it tastes, and I gave you a taste of there for later. It's worth um, the wait, though. It's worth the wait. So you start off with a stick of butter. Okay. And then you chop up a pound of bacon very fine. And you okay. can put that in here. All right. And then we're going to render the bacon. Well, I say render. We're just going to cook it up with our butter. Okay. Here we go. Into this, you're going to add um, a large cut-up onion. Or you can buy these onions pre Cut. Mm -hmm. um, two tablespoons of garlic. Here you go. There we go. You can add that. All that in there. You're going to cook this um, just a little bit, about five minutes, and let it kind of saute until it's until it's uh, transparent. Okay. You're doing good. And how much a little bit of Tony's. Yeah, about a tablespoon of Tony's. And then that's a bold seasoning. We have about four flavors. So you can go in your grocery store and look at the different flavors they have. I always add a little black pepper. I just love my black pepper. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. uh, so you can smell it. Oh, yeah. It's starting to really, really, really come together. Uh, you're going to put in three large cans of cut green beans. And I left it in the can to show you um, another easy recipe. So three of these large cans, and this is going to make a casserole enough for about 10 people. So um, now you're going to mix that together. You're going to leave it on the stove for about two hours, Fiona. So it's just going to sit there uncovered. Yes, and it just cooks down until this delicious, oh my gosh, you can eat, you might want to make extra. You might want to make six cans. Because they're great. just going to keep coming back for They it, do. Right? It's like a meal, and I, I, I sent you some to taste over there. Uh, so you just let this come to a boil, and then put it on simmer, like I said, for about two hours, and you'll start smelling the garlic and the bacon coming together. Aren't those awesome? <laughs> Our friends come over for our green beans. I With the what? bowl seasoning and, I, and the pepper. I, I know, I know you, put, you put a nice hefty amount in there, but it's perfect. Yes. That pepper is perfect. It has a nice savory mm -hmm. flavor and not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But um, So we have this that. This is how too. you take your Thanksgiving to the next level. I'm Absolutely. So I put it in a casserole dish, mm -hmm. and I, I put some green, uh, fried green onions mm -hmm. on it, and I baked it for just about 15 minutes more. Or you can just serve it from the pot. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're either they're, or. Yeah, they're either good or enough to do that. They can hold their own. Um, this recipe is on your website. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite green bean casserole recipes. It really is. <laughs> and you, we have a free recipe book to yes. tell folks about. Yes. 
Um, it has 90 recipes mm -hmm. of, from dips to desserts. You can uh, get this free from Tony Sassery's. Call the 1-888 number Creole. They will be waiting on the phone for you, and they will send you a cookbook with 90 recipes. Oh, my God. That's like a free deal. Mike, you got to come taste this. Yeah, it's, come it's on. So good. I mean, okay. I mean, <laughs> you, you got to have your fork. Yes. And bring your fork. No. So, Mike, um, this recipe is one of my favorite. Okay. Uh, like I said, you do cook it down. You smother it down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easy to put together, though. It has a pound of bacon and a pound of butter. I mean, a stick of butter. It is huh. delicious. Is bacon. that it? That's amazing. That's rich. I know. <laughs> oh, and that little bit of a mm. Right? I love mm -hmm. it. With the bowl the seasoning and the That's pepper. A little bit of a kick. Ooh, now, yeah. and the garlic. And for your other party needs, your injectable marinades are there for your meats for uh, Thanksgiving. Mm. You like that? He's yeah. And no calories, right? <laughs> yeah, guilt, <he's> Thanksgiving. <laughs> guilt free, right? <laughs> yeah. who's, who's on Thank Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Fall off the Ooh. wagon. Get yeah, on it the day tasty. after. I don't serve mine with the green onions on. I mean, the uh, fried, fried onions. onions on uh, I just serve them out, the, you know, out of a dish yeah. um, right off the stove. But right. you can do whatever. All right, like. for this recipe and more, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That is really tasty. Right. Yeah. We'll be right back. Save twenty. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And then all around the JW Marriott. This is Glitter. She sings a lot better than I do. And we are here at the JW Marriott because all of the hundreds of thousands of Christmas yes. lights are coming on. And this yes. is like Christmas Central down here, right? This is Christmas Central. Okay. And she should know because you are the main elf. The head elf, yes. Really? How do you get to be the head elf? Well, I had to go through elf school. Okay. So I have a degree to be an elf. Okay. Yes. And so I live at the North Pole, but I came down here to JW Marriott so I can certify other kids to be elves this oh, year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you kind of do special favors for, you know, Mrs. Claus and bake yes. her cookies and have yes. her sample the whole cookies mm -hmm. and everything like that. Yep. So, okay. This is the place to be, right? Tell this me all about place what's going on here at JW Marriott. So we have a light show mm -hmm. from 6 to 10 with hundreds and thousands of lights. We have our 30 foot tall Christmas tree. We have cookie decorating. We have gingerbread decorating. We have elf tuck-ins. So if you're staying here, yes. an elf actually comes to your room and tucks yes. you in. Yes, if you want to do a staycation here at the JW Marriott oh Resort. Oh my God, cool. Yeah, we will go to your room. We go to all of the rooms around here and we tuck them in and read them bedtime stories. Do you bring hot chocolate too? We can. You can bring hot chocolate? <laughs> yeah. And tuck, really? With yes, nice little yes. tiny marshmallows in it? Mm -hmm. Maybe a candy cane on the side? Yeah, we just tuck them in. Yep, I, I know. Say here. It's right. a wonderland here. It and really is. Now, if you're not staying, though, you can just come every yes. night because every night is yes. the lights and, and the cookies and the gingerbread, right? Correct. If you are a local here, mm -hmm. you can always feel free to just stop on by, see the show. You can do breakfast with Mrs. Claus and Santa at our 18 Oaks restaurant here. What's your favorite part about my all of this part. out here? Oh, gosh. Honestly, I think my favorite part is all the activities that we get to do with all the kids. Mm -hmm. I love making all the little kids certified elves and their expressions when they see Santa Claus. Certi really a certified elf? Really a certified elf. Okay. Is there an age limit on this? No. So I can be a certified elf? Yeah, definitely. Gingerbread or regular cookies? Oh, gingerbread. Why? Definitely. Because gingerbread, you can make gingerbread houses, okay. and you have all the different little candies that you can put on there. Or if you have a little guy, you can make faces. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it all colorful. I was like and trying to make the house. And yes, you know, I the, love the, making the house. And, and the gumdrops on the edges. Yeah, and making a gingerbread house is definitely a team effort. Oh. Oh. Mike, uh -huh. are you eating that? Uh -huh. You're going to be on the naughty list. I'll tell Santa. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I'll tell him that you were good helping me. Good job. Okay. So, how long is this going on out here? This is going on until December 31st. Ooh, really? Yes. For more information about spending your holidays with the JW Marriott San Antonio Hill Country Resort and Spa, you can call 210-276-2500 or visit JWHillCountryHolidays.com. I'm not surprised that you were eating the house. Well, I mean, it's just a couple of pretzels. More mm. eating tomorrow. We'll see you then at <laughs> 1. I'm going to enjoy this casserole. <laughs>